So this is the story of the serpent and the miracle rat. The reason why it's called the serpent and the miracle rat is because this rat has been living inside this cage for more than 24 hours. Roseblood, the serpent, for some reason is becoming friends with its natural enemy that it should be eating, and it's not. But anyway, um, here is a video for you to check out the Miracle Rat, because it's simply just a miracle. Roseblood chose not to eat, but they hung out, they seem to be friends now, so much so that it doesn't matter what happens, Roseblood will not eat this rat. This is the only rat I've ever seen survive this long in Roseblood's tank. As you can tell, the little rat is scared. And Rosebud didn't seem to care. She seems more interested in what I'm doing than the fact that this rat, its natural enemy, that it should be eating. It's so strange. Yes, looks like Rosebud is about to shed. That is the only logical explanation for this crazy scenario. I had been told to end the life of this little rat because it is unsanitary for the rat to live with the snake because of how much it poos and pees all over the place. I felt bad for the rat and I fed it two little carrots. So I think that might be part of the carrot underneath its face. So as you can see, I am very conflicted as to what to do as far as Eliminating the life of this rat. I have no problem feeding our snake with it. But to kill it for no reason. Ugh. Ugh. I don't know. Rosebud! Last attempt! Eat your little rat! Come on! What are you doing? It's right here! It's right here! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? There you go. There, go, go. It's right there. Oh my gosh, come on. There you go. Go, go, go get it. See, it's little things like this that are pissing my life off. Those little rat turds. I've cleaned the cage out and so is she. Go! Get it, get it! This is insane. There you go. Look, you kiss it. Look, all right, go, go, see? Face to face with it. What does Rosebud do? Can you believe this? Can you believe this? Can you believe you're actually watching, witnessing this miracle rat? Look how big this snake is. That little rat is nothing. Why won't it eat? Well, the breeder who bred Roseblood, who has the mother, said that I should kill the rat, freeze it, wait till Roseblood sheds, and then feed it to her frozen. My wife will not allow me to stick a rat popsicle in the freezer, so that's not going to happen. Rosebud, please eat your food. Anything? She's in strike position. I believe that's Jackie texting me. I'm gonna read you some of these texts. Hold on.
right, Rosebud. I'm gonna have to take it out now. Say goodbye to your friend. Well, so as you guys can see, Roseblood is not eating. I put its face right next to it. I thought maybe it might be hungry, maybe it would have struck, but it still didn't. So, it was a miracle rat. It was a miracle rat. The serpent and the miracle rat. Unbelievable. All right, well, I'm Edward Nye, signing off. Ah, all right, so there's a happy ending to this story. I just called the pet store, Scales and Tails in Burbank, which is an awesome, awesome place. Um, I told them our predicament, and they said to bring the rat back in, and they will give us store credit for the next time. So thank you, Burbank Scales and Tails. I did not have to be a murderer today. Oh my God. See? There's always a good ending to these videos. Alright, sign it off. Woohoo! The Miracle Rat. The Miracle Rat. <laughs>